Now I'm going to show you how to align the front wheels. To start off with, I'm going to set the machine up with the strider poles in the vertical position. I'm going to lock the rear brake with the parking brake so it doesn't move. And I'm going to spend my time down here making measurements and adjusting. Now these two front tires have to be absolutely parallel. That means that the distance from the leading edge of the tires has to be exactly the same as the distance between the trailing edge. You're going to need a tape measure for this. And we're going to measure that front tire from the center of the tread to the center of the tread here. And we're going to look at that distance. It's just about 26 inches. All right. We're now going to measure it on the trailing edge in the same place. I'm going to measure it from the center of that tread there to the center of this tread. And we notice that we're about 26 and a quarter. That means that these two tires, these two wheels, are angled inwards a little bit, a toe in. Now that doesn't sound like much, but if those are not parallel, when you ride down the road, you're making this tire scrub the center of the tread. And in a very short time, a very short distance, you can actually scrub the center of that tread right off. It also makes it very difficult to ride. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the length of these linkages here and here to make sure that these two wheels are absolutely parallel. They have to be within one eighth of an inch parallel front to back. All right. Now, these linkages have a rod end inboard and a rod end outboard, and they have a steering rod between them that has left-handed threads on one hand and right-handed threads on the other. I can rotate this, and it will move that tire in, or I can rotate it and move that tire out. Okay. Now, when you adjust the length of the steering linkage to get the wheels parallel, the length of this steering linkage has to be also equal to the length of this steering linkage. It's very easy to measure the length of the steering linkage by putting the tip of your tape measure into the dimple of that rod end right there, pulling it up and see where it exists over here. This is about 11 and 1 8 inches end to end, or dimple to dimple. All right. Over here, we can make the same measurement. And we're about 11 and almost uh, about 11 and 1 8 as well. So they're very similar. We set these in the factory, but they still have to be adjusted a little bit. So let's go back and look at this measurement again. And we're a little less than 26 inches, or just about 26 inches. So we're going to have to expand this out a little bit. All right. Now, we know the length of these are exactly the same, here and here. And we're going to use our wrenches to make sure that this nut is loose. So I'm going to put my 14 millimeter wrench on the head of this, or the shoulder of this rod end, and I'm going to take my 12 millimeter here, and I'm going to loosen this nut here. I'm going to also do the same thing on this one, and I'm going to make sure this nut is loose here. Okay. Once these nuts are loose here, and loose on this side. Let's make sure that these are loose. That one's loose. This one's loose. Now I can adjust the length of these. I'm going to turn this one to move the wheel out by a quarter turn, like that. And I'm going to move this one to move them out a quarter turn as well, right there. Okay. Now I'm going to remeasure the wheels, or the distance between the leading edge. So now I'm at 26 and 1 8 here, and I'm at 26 and 26 and 1 8 there. Okay. So the two wheels are now parallel. Now. Make sure that the distance of these rod ends is the same. That's 11 and 1, actually 3 sixteenths, center to center. And over here it is 11 and 3 sixteenths, center to center. Okay? So the length of these 
on the right side and the left side are equivalent. The distance from the, <clears throat> from the leading edge of the tire is exactly the same as the trailing edge of the tire. Now all we have to do is secure these rod ends with these lock nuts. Okay? Now, the lock nuts move in this direction, on this side, and what we need to do is to rotate the two rod ends as far as they'll go in that direction. This one gets pulled down, this one gets pulled down. Now we're going to start to tighten these nuts. So the rod ends are down as far as they'll go. I'm going to hold this rod end here and I'm going to tighten this nut just a little bit. I'm going to snug it a little bit. Like that. Okay. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to hold this one. Snug this nut up tight. Against that rod end. I'm going to go back up here and check this one one more time. Make sure it's tight. And when you're tightening this nut against here, don't let that push the rod end around or, or this housing around. Hold that with your 14 millimeter wrench here. All right, now those are too tight. Those are, those are both tight. Now I'm going to rotate this rod up a little bit so that it puts this one in the middle of that rod and here and also in the middle here. That means that this can move as far as it needs to as, the, as you steer back and forth. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side now. I'm going to hold, push these rod ends. The nut's going to tighten up in this direction. It's going in that direction. So I'm going to rotate this rod end up and this rod end over as far as it can go in that direction. And then tighten the nuts up to those rod ends. So here's our 14 on this side, our 12 to tighten that up to snug it first, just a little bit. And make sure that that steering rod doesn't turn. All right, that stayed right where it had to be. Put the 14 over here again. Check this 14 and make sure this is tight. Now the rod ends will come back to the middle here and to the middle there. All right. The length of these should be the same. End to end. 11 and 3 sixteenths. 11 and 3 sixteenths. The distance here, 26 and 1 eighth. Back here, 26 and 1 eighth. All right, now that means that the rod ends are the same distance, the wheels are parallel, this should never have to be reset again. It's critical that you make sure that these rod ends are in the center or, or adjusted so that they can rotate all the way back and forth this way when you're finished. All right. It's probably also a good idea to put a little spot of oil on these spherical rod ends every once in a while so that they stay nice and mobile. All right? Finished.